Oh, I am sorry. Can you hear me now? Good morning, Carol. Hopefully you can hear me now. That was my fault. I forgot to turn the mute off. Oh, my. Now I got it. Yay! What are you up to today? What have you been up to? Because it's early morning. Where you, well, what time is it where you're at, Carol? Is it like 10 or 11 o'clock? Hi, Mom. Did you get your dinner right, Mom? We'll wait and give everybody a chance to get here. Let me... And we may just play along until people get here. And if they miss it, they can go back and watch. That's how that works. Okay, that's what I thought. It was 10 o'clock or you got 10 or 11 where you were at. So it is early morning. I'm going to bed. No, I'm not going to bed yet, but it's close. Oh, did you make homemade chocolate pie? That is not fair. I bet dad's happy. That's his favorite. That's so funny. We'll wait till others come in. I've been starting at 930, but I wanted to do a little earlier tonight because there's quite a bit to do. Um, it is 8.19 p.m. here, Carol. So a little bit after a quarter after eight. So yeah, I thought that you were. So you're, let's see, 14 hours ahead of us. That's crazy. It's so weird to think that we could be here at the same time and technically, because this is Monday for us, but now you're, it's Tuesday where you're at, right, Carol? Because you're actually a day ahead, too. I think so. So, like, when we do our Wonderful Wednesday Lives, it's actually Wonderful wonderful Thursday Lives for you. Yeah, see, that, and that's so funny. Well, hey, I can celebrate my birthday two days. I'll celebrate it at Carol time, and I'll celebrate it at my time. And then we get it both days. <laughs> Give everybody a little bit of time to see if anybody comes in. Just a little bit. While we chit chat. How is everything over there with like Corona and all that, Carol? I know it's bad here. Because I mean, like they've dismissed schools for the rest of the year and all of that crazy stuff. How is it over there? Is it finally starting to settle down some? Or are you guys still? It's pretty crazy. Uh, the whole times like this is just insane. So I will give them a couple minutes more. Okay, who came in? Somebody else is here. Who's stalking? Who's there? Oh, there's Trisha. Did you get all your goodies, Trisha? Well, good, Carol. Good, good. That's a good thing. Maybe it's starting to like ebb off and go away. <laughs> I seen all your goodies, Trisha. Have fun. I did get the next... Um, four glazes. There's like antique linen and um, hickory smoke. Let's see what else there was. Uh, walnut stain. And there's one more. I was super excited because all the colors are sort of like that brown tone that, you know, we use for um, so many of our 
different things. I have some, I have a couple other things coming in. I have some collage paper coming in. And um, some more of the mini distress pads. I've got some distress oxide sprays coming in. Let's see. Okay, the embossing glazes are walnut stain, hickory smoke, antique linen, and cracked pistachio. And the cracked pistachio is like the prettiest green. I'm so excited about it. I love it. Oops. I love everything green. Oh, you haven't got your cookbook yet? Well, Trisha, we are getting ready to start here. Oh, somebody left. Somebody disappeared. Um, and you know what, Carol, if you're interested um, in doing the cookbook journals, they will mail and ship overseas too, I think. Or what, well, you know what I mean? Non-US, they will ship. So now, Trisha, um, you did Morris Press cookbooks, right? Is that who you sent off to? Because I actually found another company. Um, let me see if I can hold it up. And it's called Cookbook Publishers. Um, let me see if I can pull without. I don't know. It won't show me. Let's see. So it may be worth trying. I'm going to cover my address up because I don't want to all over face, all over YouTube. But there is the website for this one. And it's called Cookbook Publishers. This would be a cool one to get to. And I'll walk. I'll sort of flip through both the kits so you can see what's in them. This one, I honestly think I sort of like the books, uh, the cookbook in it a little bit better. And I think it may be like a saver for our covers um, where we can. You know, so I will open this up. Let me take all this stuff out because, I mean, you get it's it's packed full. I mean, it's not just an empty box. So you get some, I mean, of course they send you some goofy stuff. There's a card. Um, there's some big pages like this that are just like advertisements, but I'm going to use these to make like master pages. Okay. Yeah. I will put it in the description box when I get, when I, once I load it, um, a link to both those companies, but you know, so I'm going to use this for master pages to cover and there's several of those like that you know so you could use all of those pages or you know use them to this actually opens up um so i'm actually thinking like if i want to do a journal i could like cut it in half flip it in like you know fold the insides in and you guys are gonna be like really she's gonna use everything out of this kit i really am so you could fold it in and glue it and glue it down the middle to do tucks, but then like cut it in half and it'll be just the width enough to do a tuck inside a journal. And then you can just cover it with paper. So I'm going to use it all. And then of course you have a form, which I mean, you know, you can always use forms, you know? So, I mean, you can use that for all kinds of stuff. Then it comes with this book. And you know how on um, Wonderful Wednesday Lives, we're doing the magazine. This is going to be the one I'm going to do when I get my magazine done. Um, because, let me see, let me, I have to turn it this way because you can't even see it all on the camera. Well, maybe you can't. Uh, uh, yeah, there I got it in there. It takes up my whole entire camera. It is, let me see, 15 inches high and it, it runs, let's see nine and a half inches wide so it's 15 by nine half. so i'll either use these for like jelly prints or is like sort of like a glue book journal um but they're not they're really thick high quality pages so they're gonna be nice to use so i thought this would be sort of cool to maybe do like you know a journal for the year and maybe do like a page each month and, you know, do like a full calendar on it. And you actually have like a calendar book that you could record things on. Sort of like a planner for the year. Um, you know, just like a tabletop planner. So I have that. Then it come with this cookbook. And this is a hardcover. So even if you don't want to keep the cookbook, you can take the comb binding out. And you could use this and recover it 
you know, for a journal, the fact these are here um, isn't going to really bother you because all you have to do is pull these and they flip out like that. And you can twist it out, take it apart, put your journal pages in it. And this extends like to this. So you can put more in it, you know, just cut the holes in your journal page and flip them back through and actually use these after you cover it. So, I mean, it's really nice. And it has these really pretty, almost like chalky chalk um, dividers in it. Then it has all the helpful hints in the back. It's got the recipes in it. And all these recipes seem to be the same. No, this, I will give you the measurements on all these. This is, I have to put it over here because, you know, I have this issue trying to look at it. If it doesn't start at zero, it messes me up. So um, this is, uh, let's see. This is eight by six. And it's, you know, half an inch. So, I mean, you could keep the dividers and go in and cover these, decorate over top these recipe, recipe pages if you didn't want to, and add your own, you know, with a recipe card, you know, with an embellishment or whatever. But I love these so I'll try to and there's one let's see there's soups and salads vegetables and side dishes look at the onions I love these this looks so much like farmer's market to me yes it is the perfect yeah I do Trisha I do too it's the um oh the um yeah what's it called hold on the little zutter Zetter bind it alls. Yeah. Oh no, you just haven't seen it all, Trisha. It gets better. I mean, you know, who wants seconds? Keep them coming back. So even if you just wanted to, you know, if cut that binding part off, because this inside page, the divider, if you cut that off, I have water on there. I don't want to get that on there. You're talking, let's see, five by eight. Well, yeah, five by almost eight and a half. So you could use this, you know, cut that part off, go from here to here, and that would adhere straight to your page inside your journal if you were using eight and a half by 11, and then you can put your tabs. Then you can match your tabs with the color on the page. Little breads and rolls, pass the butter. I love that. Um, the pie one, so cute. And these, all of these have the helpful hints on the back of them. So I don't want to take all the time on there. Um, but, you know, cookies and candy satisfy, satisfy your sweet tooth. Don't spoil your appetite. I actually seen this. I know these are perfect. That's what I thought. And I mean, honestly, you could go and, you know, cut this off and use this as like a word strip. Cut the two blue pieces off the cookies and candy use it for a page cut this off and have another one so you could use these three throughout your section so i love that this and that a pinch of this a pinch of this a dash of that a little bit i'm looking at these sayings on here and i absolutely love it i want to make a kit that uses these sayings because i'm in love with it okay so then after you get to the end of this then it's got this one is different. It didn't have all the pages like the other one had. In the back, it has favorite recipes. And it's got like your table settings on. Let me try to hold it up so you can see it closer. How to set your table. Um, and how to set like a buffet style table. But this is a big envelope to put your recipes in. So I was super excited with that one. And like serve and enjoy. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you make some kind of sticker or nameplate or something, you know, maybe like a year plate to go over that. You make Bon Appetit and then maybe whoever you're, if you're making it for yourself or you make it for whatever, you could put such and such, such and such as cookbook. Like if I was doing my mom, I could put um, Barb's cookbook, you know, in print, cover it right there, you know, add some lace around it. And actually use this cover for what it is. And it's blank inside so you can put pockets and not have to worry about covering anything up or anything. And then just literally use the pages and recover them. So, I mean, there is an option there. That's one. You guys, I loved this one too. This is a spring, 
uh, coil binding and it is five and a half by eight. It's uh, so it's five and a half by eight. Now this one is cute. This is real flimsy. So I probably wouldn't use this for a cover or anything. It's just, unless you wanted to cover across this and keep just, you know, that soft bendy thing, which you could do, you could put the year over there, you know, and just create, you know, maybe a whole tag right here that would go over. Or if you were going to do like a family book and do family recipes, you could put how many ever generations, you know, or whatever. If you didn't want to, <laughs> Uh, I think I'd be, you know, trim that off right there, cut that out right there, and you've got a pretty picture to add. And then this one's a little bit different. Um, they all have different dividers in it. This is like a family. Um, there's, you know, there's, you know, some dry humor type things, a recipe for living that you could use. Um, and then these are like paper but they have these family photos on them. But I think you could put your own family photos over them and put a flower or whatever and use it and it would be perfectly fine. And they're all different colors and they've got the recipes in between. And again, they have the helpful hints on the back. So this one, you know, but now I'm looking at this and going, okay, I probably wouldn't use this one. Um, however, I most definitely you know, could come in here with a picture and a thing and maybe use it for something else. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, because I process when I look at it. So I'm sorry. Am I going too fast? If I'm going too fast, let me know. Look, and I'm thinking you could even like some of these older pictures. You could, I would definitely use this. I mean, it says, you know, Great Aunt Josephine and Grandpa Tom in 1914. If you're doing an orange and yellow journal, I mean, you could literally use this in there. So, um, let's see, I'm trying to find the next one. There's the next one. Let me make sure there's not one in there. And see, some of these are like 1934. So, I mean, you could easily use them. And then this has a thing in the back about ordering cookbooks. This has the pantry basics. Remember the list about the pantry basics and herbs and spices? which you could use in an herb journal or in a cookbook. Baking your breads, baking your desserts, vegetables and fruit cooking times, how to buy fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, napkin folding, your measurements and substitutions, your equivalent charts, um, food quanti quantities for large servings if you're feeding 25, 50, or 100 people, quick fixes like if your chocolate seizes, if you have lumpy gravy. Um, counting calories, so the basic calories in it, and then your cooking terms. So, you know, definitely you could use these. And if you were to, like, you know, cut this section off, although these come out really easy too, they just pull apart and you screw them out. You could leave that. That's sort of neat that it has that on there. I like that edge with the holes in it. So if I was going to use these like in a hardcover journal, you know, with our eight and a half, 11, eight and a half by 11 pages, I would probably take this out, leave the holes on the end, you know, ink them up real good. And I would take this over here and, you know, take my, let me find the page, my eight and a half by 11 page. And this is what I would do. Now, I know not everybody would do it. I would put it right, you know, slide it up where it's all the way on this edge, you know, where the sides touch. And maybe take some linen or something like that and make, you know, just a half inch strip of oh, gingham or whatever kind of fabric you wanted to use. And glue both sides and glue it on there and do it as a tip out so you could still see the other side. And you have that sort of like information thing. You could actually put that on the back of like your divider. So you have it. So yeah, this one is different, but it's different than the other one. So you get other things. So all together, you get quite a bit. Now, I will tell you a little bit about myself. I love the back of this. I see. I just love that without anything on it. I just love this all by itself. And again, you know, I would probably put the year over here. Or, you know, my 
my little done by Dorothy, or if you have, you know, whatever kind of little thing that you want to put on there, a sticker or whatever. Now, my dad is a minister. And so I'm looking at this. And the first thing I seen when I seen this was I thought of my mom, because it's a slice of heaven. It's actually a church cookbook. Um, it's Grace Fellowship 100th Anniversary Cookbook, which you could keep on there. I don't like the fact they put the sample on the front. Oh, wow, Nettie. Yuck. Yeah, it's crazy out there. Um, I don't like the fact they put the sample on there. So I would probably find something to put up here if, you know, just sort of covering it and maybe put some gold paint on it to sort of create that gold faux corner. And I would probably put, you know, something across here and put, you know, a slice of heaven Barb's cookbook or whatever. But it has the little church on it and the fruit. My mom's favorite color is blue. So mom, this is probably going to end up being your recipe journal because that's, I felt that's the first thing I see when I see this. And then inside it's got uh, common substitutions. It's got your roasting chart, your perfect pasta, and it's got the rings. And then it's got, you know, different stuff, through, table blessings that you can use, which are really cute. Um, a thing about the church in the past, the Heaven's Grocery Store, like, little poem thing that they have, which is really cute. Um, and then it goes into appetites and beverages. So it has, like, little Bibles, you know, on it, which is really cute. You know, a little church. You know, there's a cross. Of course, there's lots of little crosses and harps and things like that. Little fruit baskets. You know, a little dove and a rainbow. Little grapes. So, I mean, it just has all the, this one's easier to go through because it has all the little, you know, there's a donkey and a bell and just different little sort of a little tambourine. I mean, how cute is that? But, um, so it just goes through all that. And then it's got the table of contents. Then there's, uh, let me see, two pages of like ads that they paid to put in here, which would be really cute to like carry on throughout the journal. Like there's Pepsi generation next. I mean, I haven't seen that for a long time. Um, you know, or these you could use just to use for another journal. Like there's a jungles Java cafe it would be perfect for a coffee one. So you could keep these to use for whatever. I'm not sure I would keep the athletes fit one. That's pretty. And then people that did stuff ordering the cookbooks. And then again, it's got, let me pull this apart. It has all of the pages like that, but they're folded like that. I'm doing good, Nutty. Um, Trisha, probably my mom's I will because I just don't want to mess this binder up. I'm not sure. I'm still out. I haven't decided what I'm doing with mine yet. Um, as far as the cover, I have debated and debated and I keep bouncing around. So I will by Friday determine exactly what my cover will be. You gotta give me a couple more days because I have to really go through these and rethink everything. Um, but I love that they have these. So if you're going to do your traditional binder and you know how you add your pages with your tie dye or with your not tie dyed, your coffee dyed, how perfect would these be? You know have your page in front of it, your page in back of it. It slides right in there. It's the same size. So, I mean, that is like perfect to fit in between your journal pages. I like that. So that was one of the things I really liked about this journal is it being like that. But then I got this, I had it almost figured out. And then I got this other kit today and it totally changes my thoughts. Oh, did you get a sewing machine? Fun, fun, fun. Um, food storage guidelines, equivalents, and slow cooker tips. Okay. Then I had the dividers. I like these dividers. They are pretty thick, pretty hard, you know, like a heavy glossy cardstock. They have the helpful hints on the back, but these have like grapes and it's got a scripture on it. And the soups and salads with the scripture which, you know, is perfect because it's more of a religious toned thing. Vegetables and side dishes, main dishes, breads and rolls, desserts, cookies and candies. 
and this and that. And I like the scriptures on them and the pictures are pretty. You know, if you don't like the scriptures on them, these are done so nicely with the coloring around it, it sort of blends in. It's got like this, let me see if you can see, can you see like the crackled designs on it? So they're pretty cool. If you don't like the scriptures on it, um, because of the way they squared this and spaced it, you could very easily, you know, tear. I'm going to roughly do it, but you could very easily watch me do this and I'll tear it too short now because I didn't really measure it. You could very easily. Okay. I'm going to be a little short, but that's okay. You could very easily tear your coffee dyed paper of whatever color you wanted and cover it. And it's not really going to stand out much. It's not going to look like you've covered anything up. So, I mean, there is that option if you're one of those people who maybe, you know, don't care for the scriptures on them. Some people don't. Some people do. But this was perfect for my mom. So I was happy with it. So that was the Morris. Um, the Morris press cookbooks. And again, I do believe that they uh, mail outside the U.S., you will have to check and see. But I'm, I, I think that they do. Then this is the cookbook publisher's kit. I'm going to try to hide things here. Because I fell in love with this one. And I want you to see the goodies. Okay. So this one comes, and again, it's got just sort of this folder. But it is pretty heavy so you could cover that and use it for something even a cover for like a, a single signature journal again there's some you know a big page but it, again it's pretty heavy so it would be great backing for like a master page there's the little order form so I mean you definitely could use that and then they send you a little letter telling you about it then they sent theirs was let's see it is 11 okay it's eight and a half by 11 but it's wide hi mary glad to see you tonight so it's eight and a half by 11 wide um pretty thick heavy pages so again it would be great to use you know as a glue book or whatever kind of you know if you wanted to convert it like we've been doing on our wednesday lives um so there's that Okay, so we will start with this one. The kitchen is the heart of the home. And again, this is another um, church one. And again, it's a binding one. These are a little bit different. Um, they have the thinner, but I mean, they've got more of a basic, um, a really clean sort of wooded background, very clean um, looking, but this has this on here and on the back it's got food quantities for 25 50 and 100 servings so it doesn't have the hints it's got your information on the back so if you were going to do a journal i definitely would cut this off if you were doing a standard journal and use this as a flip out you know so when you open it you get your information with you so these were a little bit different than the other in that aspect and again, there's soups and salads, vegetables, breads and rolls. Let's see. Desserts. Now, they it did have, let me flip through here again really fast, sorry, because it does have some things that are different. It has the quantities. Um, let me find the next page. It does, Some of them do have, that's the spice and herb guide. Let's see. Let me find the next page. This is the equivalent and substitutions for a missing ingredient oven charts in contents of a can, like how much is in an eight ounce can, um, how much is in like a number 10 can, you know, all that stuff. And some of these are different. Like I said, this is the main dish one. The main dish one has the meat roasting and the poultry roasting guides on it. Uh, let's see. The breads and rolls. 
has tips for perfect breads, yeast breads, quick breads, whole grain, non-wheat flours. So, I mean, that was a little bit different. The dessert ones has your different pan sizes, um, what kind of pans and how much like batter that you put in each pan, which is nice if you bake. So these were a little bit different. So, you know, even if you were using maybe a different divider and you didn't want this divider, you could very, and these are thick enough, you can't see through them. You could still cut this off and use this if you wanted to glue it straight down and have it. So I thought that was really nice because they were different. And then there's a miscellaneous and it's temperature test for candy making, which was really nice because I mean, that's something I, you know, at Christmas time, you got to make candy. The first thing I always have to do is go dig out my book because I don't remember the exact, you know, degrees for, you know, softball and hardball and all of that. So I thought that was really nice. There are some different recipes in here, like there's chocolate dipped strawberries um, and how to make it out of, you know, chocolate chips, how to make your um, popcorn balls. I mean, some of these were like, I really liked some of these recipes better. Like they had zucchini relish, which is one you don't hear of very often, but I love. Um, green pear jelly, balsamic vinaigrette. I mean, so there's different stuff in here from the other books. So you're going to get a variety, which works. Um, suggestions for lowering the fat content in your diet. Uh, facts about fat, like saturated and polysaturated, all that. How to calculate your percent of fat. Heart healthy recipe substitutions, which is nice if you're, especially if you have somebody that's older or somebody that, you know, needs heart healthy. Both of my parents have had stents put in their heart. So, you know, these heart healthy recipes would be a great addition for me to put in my mom's cookbook because you're going to go back to those if you're trying to cook lower. Um, definitions on your food labels. Sodium, ways to reduce your dietary sodium. Um, seasonings, suggestions, if you're doing low sodium. And I mean, I know if you're like me, you know, especially as your parents age and stuff like that, you, you start helping them more and more and more. You know, I know some of you guys, you know, are probably care for loved ones or whatever. So, you know, it, it helps. Food safety guidelines. Um, the minimal, minimal internal temp temperature, uh, you know, for like your fish and all that. Basic guidelines for losing weight. Eat for the health of it. How to choose my plate.gov, you know, how to set your plate up to eat healthy. Um, how to cut back on certain things to lose weight. That's what all this is. Understanding nutrition fact food labels. Um, and then there's the order form in the back. And then there's like this order form there that you can take out and then there's the back page that's just a salt excuse me a solid white page you can decorate however you want so this one was a lot different than the other ones on the divider pages and stuff you got a lot more information so that's why i said you know it's almost worth getting both kits because you're going to get different stuff from both kits so that's that one okay this one hardcover we like our hardcovers right Again, it's the comb binding, but it does pull out if you want to take it apart. I love how this has the blue stir, sprinkle, mix, and bake. Um, this really goes along with our kit. This color does. You know, the gray doesn't. So, you know, you might want to do that. It's blank on the inside, though, so you can change it and move it around however you want. And again, all of these are, this was for a Hammond's Tiger ha um, High School. Oh, yes. Are you talking about the hamster walking through the store? That's exactly how I felt, Natty. So you're not the only one. You do. You feel so weird. Um, yeah, exactly, Carol. You know, because you're going to get different stuff. I mean, how awesome would that tiger be in a journal? Color it in with your markers or your colored pencils. It's gorgeous. So, I mean, you do get stuff. These are different. Again, I love this design. This is very old fashioned. Very basic. Uh, food quantities, again, these are going to have the ones on the back like we had earlier. So, I'll bet I'll just flip through so you can see them. Because, again, these are all the same as far as what's on there. But see, these vary in color. 
Let's see, I'm trying to find the next one. There's the next one. So, I mean, but they're more basic. But these are really nice if you wanted to do like a wood grain cover. Oh, and the bread one. I love that bread one. This is my colors right here. My craft room is in white, this color blue and gray. There's desserts. And again, it's got the wonderful, I love this guide right here. I love those. And the miscellaneous. And then it's got all of the same food guide stuff that was in the back. So this one's a little repetitive. The only thing that really was different was the cover and the, you know, the style of the dividers in here. So that was that one. But I mean, if just for the cover, I mean, they're like super, I mean, you're not getting like a chipboard. It's, you know, they're pretty, I mean, I'm pushing as hard as I can and it's just not flexing. Yeah, it does. It has a very 60 ish. This kit is from a place called Cookbook Publishers. Is what it is. And then this one, do you notice I didn't show you this one, don't you? It's my favorite. Well, I mean, I like the blue one from my mom. But I'm like in love with this. So I have to decide if I want to rip the rings out of it or if I want to use it as a ring. So this is where I'm, I, this is the perfect color to match our little kit we're using. It's got the little rooster. It's got, you know, the old thing, favorite recipes. The only thing on the front that does not match is where it says Patterson's Family Cookbook. But I'm thinking it would be so easy to take a little note card and cover that and put whatever my name is on the front and then run a cover down a thing down the spine, you know, like a title down the spine or even cover it with lace down the spine, lace around the edge. But everything on here matches. I probably would put something here, you know, with like um, some foam tape or something to raise it to give it more, you know, decorate my cover more. Um, but as far as the coloring, it works great. It's blank on the inside, which I like. So if you chose to completely cover the outside, you could. So it this was like the Patterson family. It does come with some pictures in it that you could cut out and use for whatever. Uh, there is a family reunion saying in there. So like we have a family reunion every year that we go to, like our family reunion. And... Um, when we go, we do an auction to help, you know, cover the cost or whatever. So, you know, if you wanted to make a family recipe book to take, you know, you'd have that family reunion poem in there. It would fit great. I liked this. Um, favorite recipes from my cookbook. None of the others had this. This is like a table of contents. So I would cover this up with something and scan it and copy these. So I would have, you know, a table of contents for my recipes and I could at the front, I could put all my canning on one, my cookies on one, my, you know, whatever. I loved every one of these covers. I mean, it's just perfect. I am seriously thought about taking this one and making it into a journal just because I love these. I love the old cooking things. And again, it's got the same things on the back. So I'll just flip through and show you, but I did like these and they're the same colors that go with our kit because Let's see. Well, let me pull out. Let me pull out my one that's my favorite. If I can find it. Um, well, here's one that has all the colors in it. So, I mean, you can see that matches up. The blue, not quite so much. On this, but there's that blue in the milk thing. So I've already started covering these, but you know, so that blue is in there some, you know, so you could play around with it or you could cut it out and add it to whatever, you know, with this in the background. So, I mean, there's a ton of ways to do it. It's figuring out which ways to do it. I love this green one. And there's a brown one. Let's see, let me find the next one. 
the next one's here. And then there's this sort of mustard. Oh, really, Carol? Is anybody else having um, buffering issues? Yeah, so these would be great. I mean, and I love, if you didn't want to use this, you could still go in and fussy cut around these, you know, and put them coming off your pages if you wanted to. You know, and they're all different. So, I mean, and they're, you know, you have that whole collaged recipe thing in the back. Let me hold this up so you can. So, if you can see, like, where they've layered it. And they're all collaged on there. So, I mean, it's just perfect. And I, I love that. But I really, and oh, this was my big thing about this one. <laughs> all right, okay, so you're good, good, Nutty. Um, throughout this one. There are little pictures and all the pictures, let me, all the pictures are of like re retro black and white designs. So if you didn't want these recipes, it's worth it just to go and cut out all the little black and white images. You can color them. I mean, look, how cute is that? It's a little tomato can, a vintage tomato can. So, I mean, and there's tons of, I mean, like every three or four pages, there's a little vintage kitchen. So, I mean, those come out. You know, there's the little Victorian lady. Let me see. Look at the old clock. The old silverware. I mean, magic yeast. Now, how old is that? The little sewing machine. So, you could get lots of the little salt and peppers for your table. There's a couple different one of them. A little coffee grinder. So, I mean, there's a lot of vintage images in here that, you know, you could use. I mean, just like the little coffee pots. I mean, so. Ooh, banana cream pie. I could handle that. The little coffee service. So, I mean, this one I liked from the vintage standpoint. I think I like the... It was the images in, in the bottom that just, I loved. So, I mean, and there's lots of them. I mean, like I said, I didn't even show you half of them that are in there. You know, there's a little stove with little pots and pans. So, but that was from that. So, like I said, it's, there's stuff in both kits that I like. So, definitely. So, I mean, if you use, if you wanted to just pick one, and go, okay, I'm using everything in here in one kit or in one journal. Technically, you can make six different recipe journals. So if you were doing like small journals for like Christmas gifts, you literally would have six Christmas gifts that you could make if you were doing recipe journals. Just a thought. I mean, Christmas is away, but I mean, if you did one a month, you'd have them done. Yeah, Trisha, this, this, this book right here was worth getting that whole entire kit. That and the fact I love... The fact that they have, you know, the little tips and tricks and stuff on the back of the dividers. So I can use those as flip outs. I like that. So now it's just to decide which one I want to, you know, include. And like I said, on these, if this doesn't match the border, and I did double check because like this border is, yeah, I can use the centimeters. That's fine. This center is a little bit less than one centimeter. Okay, so if I come over here, this border where this box is, you know, around here and around the edging is about the same. So you very much could just cut the internal square out if you were really careful and stayed on the line. And then, you know, if you wanted to cut it out, and say like these were the one dividers that I had from the original one I had and I remember I put put my paper on it I could cut this out and literally put that on those so I mean I would still have my hard divider even though this is real flimsy and just have this on the front if I wanted to um so I mean or I could put it on here you know and put some you know washi along it you know do it as a flip out or, you know, 
if I ran like if this one, well, that would be upside down, so that wouldn't work. Um, you know, I mean, there's tons of stuff I could do. I could cover this with coffee dyed page and, you know, embellish it and put it right here. So, you know, you have your helpful hints, you have a really pretty embellished page with journaling over, you know, whatever that one is, flip it over and you've got your information. There's just a ton. I have so many ideas, which is probably why I'm rambling so much tonight with all that, you know, going through it because I opened it up and I looked at it and just, I mean, just idea after, I mean, okay. Honestly, you guys have sat here watching me flip through these. How many ideas have you guys had? It's crazy. So there's that. So let me, these are the dividers from the kit that I showed through. And I'm telling you, going through those and looking through some of them, I love my country kitchen here. And this is what I'm going to use for my thing, um, for this one. But I'm, I also think I'm going to make, I'm going to make a recipe journal um, based around the one with the really funny sayings, because I just think that they're so, they're just adorable. So like this was this checkered one. And I mean, the backs just have the strip. Remember I did the strip down the side, hole punch them and then put the whole reinforcers. And I like the way it looks. It doesn't cover up any of my wording so I can still see them. And then I inked around the edges. So there's that one. There's the milk cap one. And again, I love how that turned out along the edge. And um, doing that along the edge, you know, just, it worked perfect. And I don't remember what it was that I wanted to cover up on the edge. Huh? There was something on there. There was some reason I wanted to cover the edge up. Oh, I know what it was. Oh, I know why it is because these holes that come in the divider were a lot bigger. Oh, yeah, Mary. See, I mean, mine just runs. It just runs crazy. Oh, Nutty, yeah, you don't cook a lot. Well, there you go. That could be your start. You can make an empty one with no recipes in it and just start with one recipe. And when you get that one, then move to the next one. I want to do one just with my canning recipes because I have probably, oh my gosh, 150 to 200 canning recipes, some of which I've done a ton of different recipes. But I like that one. And then I did a red checkered one. This reminds me of a picnic table or a picnic cloth. Then there's all of the little utensils and the little plates, which I think are cute. And I did one of the green daisy ones. And I did one of the stove ones. And I did a blue checkered one. I did the preserve and pickle and the garden one, which I think is so cute. I love these little ball jars with vegetables in them. And I did a stripey one. And then I did the little chicken one because he was just too cute not to do. And I thought he would be really good for like a meat one. And then you can use, you know, because we're coloring them this way, you don't have to really stick to, okay, this is a chicken on it. So I'm going to use this for meat. And well, this says preserves and pickles. So I'm going to use this for canning. You don't really have to do that. How, you know, your dividers came and said, you know, appetizers or breads and rolls say you're diabetic. So you don't do desserts. You know, then you can, with covering them, you can, you know, turn that dessert one into maybe, um, you know, sugar-free snacks, you know, or things like that, or, you know, whatever you want to do. So I did those. And let's see. I did my recipe cards and my green recipe cards. Let's see. I did my little wish list cards. So those are cute of those. And so we have those done so far. Then we have our little grocery list pad, 
which I love, you know, the little sheets we can, you know, tear off and write our little grocery list on. I like that. We have our little tags we made. A couple of the little ones I'm going to use for uh, tuck spots and pockets. Another little tag. And a tuck spot or pocket. And a tag. And I have not added my ribbons and stuff on it because I sort of like leaving that until I forgot exactly where I'm going to do put them because sometimes the ribbons get in the way and sometimes they don't. So, I mean, it just, I sort of wait till the last minute to do that. There's another little tuck with the homemade with love and look, it's sitting on a little doily and I love that. I think that turned out so cute and another little tag and our little piggy tag with a doily. Mary, this kit is from Cartabella. It's called country kitchen. Um, you can get it from like snap click supply. Uh, if you go back to the very first country kitchen journal, when we did, I did a link there, but if you go to snap, click supply and type in, um, Cartabella country kitchen, it's a digital kit that you can print. It's like 1399, but you get this ungodly amount of supplies of there's, I don't know how many, well, all of those papers and I have some papers that I haven't used and then I haven't even cut all my ephemera out because there is so much you guys see my pile of mess here this is just the ephemera and I have probably oh uh, probably 15 more sheets 12 more sheets of ephemera to cut out there is that much of this kit. It's huge. I will put it in the description box. Um, after the live is over, I will get that in the cookbook kits where I ordered those from. I'll put the leaks on those. The two cookbook kits I showed you in the boxes, you they're just um, sample kits that you order. Like if you're wanting to make a cookbook or whatever like that, you order them. And I actually ordered one uh, several years ago because for our family reunion, a couple of people had brought up about maybe doing a cookbook and I wanted to see pricing and that kind of thing. And I mean, they're pretty reasonable. So I'm like, man, I should do, I should do a channel cookbook. And then what I've been doing is, as I get stuff done, I have my basket over here. I'm going to pull this out. I have all of my washies that I have that matched my kit. I pull them out ahead of time because if they're here, I will use them. If they are not here, I will not use them. That one's not supposed to be in there. Okay, so, and I just put all of my stuff as I get it done. I just pile it in here and then I'm good to go. Okay, so I'm decorating my dividers today. And I'm sorry that took a whole hour of me rambling showing those kits. But the amount of free stuff you get and the variety you got in those kits, I think are well worth it. So if you don't have the money to buy a paper kit, you can do a journal just out of those binders. You know, add in your coffee dyed paper and then add in your lace and buttons and whatever else you want to. You know, especially if you buy, if you get both those kits, you can cut out the little pictures, color those with your colored pencils or you know, even crayons if you want to, whatever you want to color them with, and use those on your tags and stuff, you don't have to have a botten kit to make this, which is why I like those two kits, because you know, if you don't have the extra money, and I mean I know a lot of people right now are out of work and things like that, you know, so not having that extra money, I don't want that to stop people from being able, you know, to make it. I do have um some ephemera that I will be adding as we get to that. Uh, also, um, if you're interested, well, let me, I'm trying to think and do this at one time and it's like getting a little hard from here. Um, let me be doing that. If you're interested and you have any recipes that are like, you know, recipes you want to submit, Everybody who has recipes, just email them. I will put the 
my email in the description box, you know, type them out, email them to me, take a picture and send it to me via a uh, private message on Facebook. If that's easier for you and I can type it out, it's not a problem. And give me your favorite recipes and all that. I will take all the recipes I get, combine them all together, put them in a PDF and send it a copy to everybody so you have a copy of everybody's recipes to use you know to add you know if you want to use new recipes I mean you like to make new stuff and you can do it that way Nettie speaking of Nettie my son heard me talking about the mushroom stuff that you were talking about last night and he's like oh mom you got to get that recipe because that sounds so awesome so if you want to send that recipe from last night, my son will love you forever. Okay, so this has a plain blue background. So let me see, what do I want to use for this? I like that with the little house. Let's see. So I'm going to just pull, and there are a ton. There's a little farm one that looks cute. But I sort of like that. I just sort of think, oh, I love that. She's so cute. Oh, you don't write them down on paper? Well, you know, then it's time to put them on paper. I never used to think about that um, or anything. And, you know, my kids are older teens and I never thought about it. And then my son, who's 18, you know, of course, you know, when you turn 18, you get all these big dreams. I'm going to go live and make it on my own and. I want to do this and do this and do this. And he's like, but mom, how do you make this? And how do you make this? I'm going to have to come home to eat it because I don't know how to make it. So I started like thinking, well, you know, maybe I need to write them down. So I've been trying to get all my recipes together. So yeah, if you have any recipes or anything like that, and some of you, well-established ladies I know you guys have got recipes and I know my mom's got some from like the early 1800s and I've got some that are pretty old I have also have a um, well it's copyright free now because of how old it is um, a royal baking powder uh, cookbook that I'm going to scan. Yeah, Trisha, you can find all kinds of um, papers and things like that to use. Okay, so I think I like her here. But I want to put my tab over here and I want to decorate it. So I don't want her way over there. So I think I'm going to put her right there. Let's see, what do I want to put behind her? Um, hold on, let me pull from my basket of wonders. Let's see, I got some other little things here. There's some, some of these little scraps. I'm wondering about putting her on like that. That's sort of cute. And it sort of fits the longness of her body. And I could put one of these little circly things down here when I've been my tab or do I want to put a really pretty floral one behind her since she's a lady sort of like that tilted like that oh I sort of like that Give me a second. I'm looking. I got some other stuff. Let's see. I have that lace. It's like a floral lace. No, see, I think that's too, it's too white. Oh, I have a little crocheted doily I could cut part off. Maybe have it off to the side like this. Put that part up there and maybe have her um 
You guys are quiet tonight. It's been two minutes and nobody said anything. Somebody talk. Okay, I like this one over here. I'm pretty sure. I like this. I don't know. That one's pretty cute too. I'm going to use that for my tab. Because I can fold it in half and put one on one side and one on the other. That's cute. Okay. Is everybody still hanging out? Oh, it went crazy. Let me not do that. Oh, my, my, my. Let me switch out my bottles before I make a mess. Because I had to cut this tip because it clogged really, really bad. So I'll get my new bottle out. One thing nice about FiberTech, it does not take a lot. It holds it pretty sturdy. I really like that. I'm gonna use, oh, you just stand in the background watching, watching me make a mess. They changed, I've been buying FiberTech for I don't know how many years, and they changed the way they do their lids at least where I'm at from what the way they used to be. And I don't really like them. I liked the other ones better. I love this little woman figure. I think she's just so adorable. Okay, then I wanna use And I'm going through all my little scrappy baskets here to see what I can find that I like to use. And make it a mess. Trying to find something I really like that matches that really well. Um, let's see. I have some other stuff in here. And it doesn't even have to be, you know, an exact match. I just want something that sort of matches. So I'm looking through countless little boxes. see what other lace I have over here. I could use some cheesecloth. Um, let's see. What do I have is, ooh, you know, I actually sort of like that. It's part of a curtain. Nope, I think I will use that. I think I will use part of this little scrappy curtain. Oh, you're watching me in the voice. Nice. Well, don't feel bad. I would much rather watch the voice than me. So, <laughs> and this is just, um, you know, like the top lacy part of a curtain. Oh, that's so funny. I do that too, though. Oh, your goal is to make me laugh hard? Oh, you don't want to make me laugh hard. I sound horrid. I'm going to trim. You know what? I really think 
Let's see, what do I have that I can put? No, let's try some of this, check. Let me trim this up real fast, guys. Let me grab my pinky here. Oh, listen, she just wants to make me, I sound horrid when I laugh, you guys, I lose it. I'm like one of those people when I start laughing, I just can't control it. And I'm over 40 and I've had four kids. So if you make me laugh too hard, you're going to have to sit here and stare at an empty desk while I go to the bathroom because <laughs> that's just the age that I am. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. And I'm actually going to put this over the lace. Um, it really, ma I like how it matches the blue and it's just going to cause the little flower to sort of pop a little bit more with a little bit of color behind it without being overwhelming. So let me, Challenge accepted. Nice. You know, I used to like you guys. No, I really do. Whoops. Messy, messy. Well, I had a drying towel somewhere to... Cause I want that little blue and I think that just putting the blue check on there. I wanted to put something on the back of this first though, I think. Okay. What should we put on the back guys? Uh, do I want to cover it with paper or do I want to, you know what? Where is Now, this was the original cookbook that I had. So I'm going to look through here and see if I know one of these somewhere in here. Oh, yes. They have these pages back here. Um, do I want to use one of these pages? Let's see. That's that blue. I don't want to use anything that clashes, really. Um, those really need to be doubled up. Don't use that. I want to split the herbs and spices up. Um, well, let me see if there's some kind of... There's A lot of these have poems of some sort in the front. So, a recipe for a good life. Let's use that. I do love you guys. You guys have no idea. I've sort of, I don't know, grown. Um, let's see, how do I want to do that? Now I want to sort of fussy cut around this and just sort of create a. I have, you know, you guys could grow on me. And some of you guys I've been around now for. My mom is on here and she's she's being funny. And the why she's being funny is not funny at all. She's going to make fun of me. And I know exactly what she's talking about. She's trying to make me laugh and she's probably going to work, which isn't fair because my mom knows stories about me. But I will tell you guys, because I'm not embarrassed, I earned the right to be able to do that. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to cover this. Hold on, let me get some... See what do we have in the front? Well, see, she's got the dark. So hold on. That sort of matches. That's sort of a good match. What do you think? It's a little bit darker, but I think it'll be okay because it's on the back. Uh, there you go, Trisha. Well, I'll get you started. So everybody be prepared to go take a bathroom break in a minute. I was pregnant. Okay. And you guys all know pregnancy just doesn't work well anyway. Um, I was pregnant with my twins. Okay. Now I had twins. I was about, let's see, this was, been, this was in June. I had my twins in, in September. So I was six months pregnant with twins. Now, Here's what you have to keep in mind. 
I delivered my twins full term. Actually, I was like three days overdue from my due date. So I delivered full term. Um, I had my twins. My twins were five, six and five, nine. Okay. They were not super little for twins or anything else. So here I am pregnant. It's the middle of summer. It's 900 degrees outside because it's in June. And we had actually went to a church camp, you know, several hours away from us. And we were going to stay for the week. And I had decided I was going to go, even though I was pregnant, just because I knew I was going to have twins and it was going to be like the end of my life. And <laughs> if I only knew how much the end of my life was coming. Anyway, we went and we rented these cabins to stay in. And we, moved, we were going back to our cabin. And I'm sort of shredding this just, you know, I want to age this up some. Um, we had walked back to our cabin and we were checking it all out and everything else. They had bathrooms in them and everything else. And we get to the cabin and we're checking it out. And somebody made a smart like remark about, well, it's a good thing the bathroom was close by because of me or whatever. So look, my mom's like, now my mom's backtracking because she's like, I never really thought she would tell this. <laughs> so now she's backtracking. So we're sitting there and somebody said something and I don't know what it was anyway. And I get to this point to this day. I can't remember. But anyway, we're sitting there and I start, somebody said something dumb and I start laughing and I'm one of those people. If something actually, you know, cracks me up, I just lose it. And I start laughing. Well, you know, I've got these ungodly huge size twins, you know, laying directly on my bladder because they just stayed there, you know, my whole entire pregnancy. And I start laughing and I end up, dribbling we'll say dribbling okay everywhere <laughs> because you know here i am pregnant i got laughing i couldn't get myself stopped to even go to the bathroom because i couldn't get control of myself because they made me laugh that hard so here i am all over myself and but i'm like six and a half months pregnant with twins here guys okay my mom on the other hand let's see this was let's see this was um, okay. This would have been in 2003. So this has been about 17 years ago. So my mom would have been around 50. Now my mom had a C-section as well as I did. And, you know, so prolapse bladders and things like that, just, you know, all that wonderful stuff goes along with that stuff. So my mom gets laughing at the fact that I have done peed my pants and pees hers. But she wasn't pregnant. She was just, you know, at that age. <laughs> so we both ended up doing it. That's what she's trying to start is she's trying to start trouble. So now I'm going to tell on her. See, that's what you get into, mom. You shouldn't have started it. You started it. I finished it. So now I told a story about my mom. There you go. And I know that's horrid. And hopefully you guys are sitting there laughing all over yourself. So, yeah. So, you know, when I say that, you know, I will do that. If you make me laugh, I've had four kids. I've been pregnant three times. I've had three C-sections. On top of that, I'm just old and wore out because of having kids. So I don't want to hear it. Okay. So there, you guys learned a little bit of personal information about me. Now you know that I managed to wet my pants in 2003. Ha ha, mom, I got you. I told on you. Oh, see, now she's not coming on there saying nothing because she's busted. Did everybody leave? Isn't that horrid? Isn't that an awful thing? I'm going to put this lace across this bottom here because I like it. Oh, look at me. I know, you know, sometimes you pay for it, don't you? But, you know, that's one of the wonderful things of womanhood. Yes, it does, Natty. You think you have a control and you don't realize that that's the start of your loss of control. And after that, you just never really have control after that <laughs> because your kids show up and that's the end of it. So, yeah, so. Here we were in this cabin on their carpet. So here I am pregnant. And here's my mom, you know, trying to clean up. them. It was horrid. It was awful.
one of those things. It's just a part of life, but it was funny though. It's funnier. It's funnier now than what it was then. And by the time I got ready to have my kids, and especially my twins, I couldn't go to Walmart and sneeze. My mom's still laughing. It has been 17 years and she st we still laugh about it, guys. See, and that does that cute little ruffle across the bottom. And it sort of covers that at the bottom where the glue was all squidgy. And I'm going to ink this up. All those wonderful good memories that we all have. See, I told that whole entire story and I didn't lose it. I kept it under control. She was trying to start trouble. Okay, I wanted I do want to put some kind of Yeah, but I don't like that. Um maybe this is all I want to put on here in the middle. Maybe put some cheesecloth underneath of it. I have some sort of creamy colored cheesecloth. Oh yeah, Nettie, my brother was uh, some ungodly way and I just, it just left me. Mom, how much was, hey, okay, he was ungodly. None of my kids were, uh, my, old, my biggest was 710 and that's giggles was 710 and then my oldest son um was 77 but my brother was like 10 pounds and three ounces or 11 pounds and three ounces or some i can't remember now because for whatever reason it just left me because i'm talking about it my mom could put it up there but he was some ungodly size i mean he really was So she does, you know, she was rewarded with all that wonderful after effects. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this sort of straggled. I'm telling you, if you guys don't have a silicone brush, oh my gosh, I love mine. Like when it comes to doing this, it just, because it doesn't stick, you can just pat it down in the Fabri-Tac and it stays and you don't get it all over your hands. Yes, 11 pounds and one ounce. See, I told you he was huge. So this has, it says, a recipe for good life. A heaping cup of kindness, two cups of love and caring, one cup of understanding, one cup of joyful sharing, a level cup of patience, one cup of thoughtful insight, one cup of gracious listening, one cup of sweet forgiveness, mix ingredients together, toss in smiles and Oh, did you guys lose it for a minute? I think we buffered out for a second, but we're back. So that's the back and that's the front. So that's our first divider is completely done. Forty six hours labor. Wow. OK, I'm going to move on to the next one. I want to do this one. This one is pretty crazy. So I'm definitely need to tone it down. So I'm thinking we need something pretty calm. Um, let's see. What can we put on there that's not going to maybe that and put something a heavier piece of lace or fabric. Let me see. What I have. Do I have yellow? We're going to use some of this yellow. That's crazy. My oldest son, um, I went to this doctor and come find out this doctor ended up being this crazy, crazy lady. But anyway, um, yeah, she was horrid. Um, but I went into labor 
with my son and went to the doctor and they said I hadn't dilated enough. I was only three centimeters dilated, go back home. That was on a Monday when I had my appointment. She told me to go home if I hadn't had him by Wednesday. Wednesday, guys, two days later, I was three centimeters dilated. If I hadn't had him by Wednesday, then they'd talk about doing something about it. So uh, Wednesday came and I went. They decided that they were going to induce me. They induced me Wednesday. So I stayed at the hospital Wednesday night. They induced me and I laid there with contractions. I mean, I'm talking like big contractions and dilated to four centimeters that Wednesday night. She come in Thursday, checked me, said I was still four centimeters. It, she just didn't feel like it was time and sent me home again. And I was like, okay. Um, sent me home. So then I didn't ever do anything. So she brought me back in again to induce me again. And I was at four centimeters still. They brought me in. They induced me again and left me lay there while they induced me for 37 hours. And after I lay there for 37 hours, I went into basically into distress. Um, my oldest son, they um, lost his heartbeat and everything else. So after all this happens, she still wouldn't give me a C-section. She was still going, well, we'll just wait a while. We'll wait a while. My dad was there. He was there the whole time, which is really weird. Oh, well, my mom was there too. And my aunt was there, but my dad stayed in the room with me the whole time. He wouldn't leave to go get anything to eat or anything. It was pretty crazy. And I was in so much pain. I couldn't like scream. I couldn't cry. I could just lay there. I had to lay flat on my back. All of my labor was in my back. Um, I just laid there and tears sort of ran down my cheeks and he wouldn't leave me or anything. And after all of that, um, they finally, between him and my mom and my aunt just got, I think fed up with the craziness of the doctor and went up and was like, okay, we want another doctor, you know, type thing or whatever. And they finally got another doctor to come in. He come in within 10 minutes of being there found out my, he got there at like right around six o'clock and by six ten I was in a, uh, in a surgery room and at six ten they pulled my son out cause I had a C-section and they had, of course I, they had lost his heartbeat and everything else. And he had been lodged so long that like the top of his head had like the circle where it had like pressed his head. It actually like shaped. It was, it was horrid. And they said that they were really, really worried that he would have learning disabilities if there wouldn't even be, you know, major, major issues just functioning. Um, and so for the whole entire first year that he was born, I had to take him back to the doctor every month and they ran like a battery of tests. Um, the state made him do it because if for any reason there would have been any learning disabilities or, you know, trouble, you know, simply functioning, um, technically I could have filed a lawsuit against that doctor because it was that bad. And it was her lack of, you know, it was, it was just not a pretty thing. Okay. Look, I see that doesn't, I didn't put a lot on that, but I think the yellow with the blue is just enough that it doesn't overdo it. And this is so crazy busy that I think if I did anything else, it would just be too much. So, I mean, but I really like that. I think it stands out, but yes, but before I, needless to say, my son is perfectly fine. He has no issues whatsoever. And uh, I think I will put this little groan with love. No, maybe not. Mm. 
I don't know. Maybe if I... What do you guys think? No, I like this the way that it is. You know, I is losing my mind. Why didn't you guys remind me I needed to do that? I think I did that and then got talking and forgot what I was doing. Oh, no, I decided to do the back. So, you put the tab on here. But, yep, so my son was perfectly fine with no problems, thank God. And now he's a stinker. But. And then I'm just going to staple that on there. So, that's going to be my little tab that's going to hang out, which I really like. But it still does have that blue in the back and the lace. And then it has that on the back for the little tab. So I did forget to put that tab on there. So there's that one done completely. Sorry about that. And I have this. This has the hints on the back. So I'm not going to do anything with that. I want to do the little tab. And I really want to follow with the yellow. Because I think the yellow really pulls out from there. Well, thank you, Mary. I do too. I really like it. I think it has just enough that it doesn't overdo it. Yeah, it was so crazy busy um, when I put it on there that I was really scared it was going to, let's see, you know what, let me find, I have some other lace here. You know what, I was fussy cutting some items out of a dish towel um, that I actually got. And if you watched my other video, I got some dish towels that actually match. They go along with it. This is a piece of that dish towel. Um, I kept these little scraps along the edge because I knew I could square them up. And I thought they would be perfect to use as tabs. And I mean, how perfect for a recipe journal. I mean, it's just, it's perfect. So, and then I'll just cut this and square it up. You know what, let me use my pink and shears. And I'm not even going to worry about really cutting it straight. I am going to cut this side over here with the pinking shears just so it's not all crookedy. You know, I did cut that really, really crooked though. There's a difference between not being straight and being so crazy crooked. Okay, so I'm going to put my little dish towel there. I'm going to cut this in half. So it has a, you know, it'll be in the middle there, but it's not going to take away from the dish towel. And then that will be my little tab on there because I like the way that looks. And I think using the little dish towel just <laughs> sort of makes it really cute. Oh, did they, Nettie? Oh, wow. Yeah, see, there's it's just crazy. I mean, times are so crazy. And I like that. I think it's easier if you're crafting to sort of, I sit in here by myself for hours on end. So, and I always double staple my stuff because I'm, there you go. And see, I love that little towel on there. I mean, that's just like so perfect. So there's that one, and then it's got the hints on the back. So I didn't want to put anything on there with the hints. And because each of these page has different hints on it. So there's that one. So we've got two of them done. So that one and that one. Um, Nettie is in Canada is where she's at. Okay. Next. So this has the flowers on it. So I really feel that we need to do something sort of cooking or gar Oh, there's a pretty little gardening one, but that's too much green. See, I think the green on the green is too much. Um, let's see. Let me see what we have over here in a pile over here. We have a ton of stuff. That's sort of cute. Of course, there's a little jar of flowers with the little, that might be sort of cute if we put a different color on the top of it. I don't know. Oh, you know what? How about the little chickens? 
Those would be really cute. Hmm. Let's see. Let me look what else is here. Because now we got some other stuff here. Ooh, I don't know. I love those little jars of. Uh, nope, sorry, I threw my big arm in the way. Oh, see, that might be cute. Yeah, you know, the little ignore. I think it will. See, some of them, I think, when they're real busy like this, they just look better with not as much stuff. I think if you put too much stuff on them, it just becomes crazy. So this, I think I'm going to glue straight down. To me is my yeah, Nettie's in Canada. Um, let me think. I know where it's at. I have to think about it because I've got multiple people up there, and I know where she's at. I'll think of it here in a minute. Um, Nettie, is it Quebec area? Night, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Joining us. Thanks for tuning in. We'd love having you here. And all our lives will show um, back up where, you know, it records them. Manitoba, that's it. I know who Carmen is in Quebec. I knew that there was, I was trying to remember. You know what? I'm not sure I want to put anything under these. I think, let me ink these and see. They may not have to really have any lace or anything under them. They may just... I knew that it was, I was thinking Quebec, but then I knew that I had a, I, there's somebody in Quebec, there's somebody in Montreal, um, I'm trying to think where everybody else that, and then Carmen's in Quebec, Montreal, you're in Manitoba, uh, I got a couple in PEI, or Nova Scotia, which is crazy, my heart goes out to all those people up there where the the mass shooting just happened. That was horrid. I, these people just... Actually, I don't think I'm going to put anything under these. I think I'm actually going to attach these straight on because I think if I put something under, it would pull. Like, I think even if I used... I think even if I used cheesecloth, it would just... I just think maybe they look better straight on. But we'll see. I'll pull some cheesecloth out and look. You can't never use enough cheesecloth. Mm, nope, I like them straight on. We'll finish this one and what time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. But I came on at 8 this time, right? Well, I might do this one and I'll do one more and then wrap it up for tonight. I have so many things going on. I got some stuff within my group I've got to do and I... Just ordered some more stuff for another ranger sale. Trying to make sure all these people keep their crafting supplies. Especially right now because it's so hard. You can't get out to get anything. Oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me pull a winner. I have, there was three people that submitted. I have all the names in here. Just so everybody knows how fair it is. There was three people. And I wrote their names out. They're on pieces of paper. They're the same size and everything. So they can't get mixed up. Thanks for reminding me, Natty. Because I think I said it was going to be 1030. And I was thinking 1030 in my head. But I don't usually start my lives until 930. But I actually started at 830. We've only been on an hour and a half. That's not bad then, has it? Did we start at 830? What time did we start? Does anybody know? Oh, I'm an hour and a half. I'm an hour and 40 minutes. So I've still got time. Okay, I'm shaking. I'm not looking, guys. I know that's probably making you dizzy, isn't it? And the winner is... 
Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Nettie, are you ready? You guys saw it. I didn't even look at the names. And the winner is Nettie. Nettie won. Nettie won. Yay, Nettie. How was that? That was funny, wasn't it? Okay. Remember that we will do it every week on Sunday. I know. Nettie, go to my Etsy store. It's done by Dorothy. Look at all the kits that are on there. Everything that's on there. And whichever one you want, um, just, I was going to say email me, but you can just private message me on Facebook. Uh, private message me. Let me know which one you want. And I and give make sure I have your email address. And I will email it straight to you. Oh my gosh, I love these little chickies. And it says, ignore our mess. We're making memories. Well, there you go. Natty is worried about it. And you guys seen it. And look, just to prove it, I will pull out so you know. Nobody can say it's unfair. I did have everybody's names in there. There's Elizabeth's. And Melissa's. And Nettie's. So everybody was in there. And you've seen me shake it. So... Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, hi honey, my hubby got up to go to the potty. Yep, I think I'll leave it alone. What do you guys think? Do you like the little chickies? This is probably one of my, this is probably my favorite. I really, I don't know. Every one of them I do, I think is my favorite. I loved this one. And then I thought this one turned out really cute with the ear of corn. And then the chickies, I think are just, I love this. This is just like, I get the feeling for this, just like you get when you see big fat happy babies and you just want to squeeze them. This was just, I love this. Okay. So let's do a tab on here. What do we want to do? Let's find. I'm going to use cheesecloth since we didn't use cheesecloth earlier. And what do we have over here that we could use? Do we have anything over here that I would want to use? Um, nope, I don't think so. So cheesecloth. I'm looking to see what I got that's yellow or what I have that I can use. I do have one of these little rose appliques, which I mean, I don't want to use just that. So I am going to use, I think, the little yellow that we have. Let's do another yellow. Yes. Every, so remember next Sunday and I will make sure that I post it ASAP. I mean, as soon as I can early Sunday morning, all you have to do is make something. It has to include the word of the week. So if you want to make something ahead of time and then just add the word once I announce it or whatever, that is up to you. Um, but it, you have to use that word. So like this week's word was friendship. So you had to use friendship and we had three people do it. One of which wasn't Trisha. Was it Trisha? Nope, nope, nope. Trisha didn't do it. Trisha could have won, but Trisha didn't do it. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to staple. And there we go. There's our little chicky with this little tab. The, the, the green flowers, I do too. I love these little daisies. There's a little jar with them in it too. 
but I really like what the little chickens on here. I think it just pulls out the right pop. It pulls out enough of the yellow that you're not, the background's not chaotic, but it's enough that it doesn't take away from the background. So it really works. And then there's the back. Uh oh, we have another blank back. We've got to decorate. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think we should use this back here, definitely. Maybe we should leave this as a journaling space. Okay, here we go, guys. I'll just ink this up. Just add a little color so it's not all white. And then I'm going to leave this as a journaling space. So I don't want to use that. Maybe the green. Nope. I don't like that either. Okay, let's see. What could we do? What could we do? Oh, I have this. Let's just cut this off and use this. Oopsie. Wrong scissors. I think we'll put this here across the bottom just to add a little something. Um, let me get a little cheesecloth to put up underneath that. Because everything's better with cheesecloth. So is anybody out there crafting tonight or are they just sitting around watching me? So who do we have on here? My mom's on here. She's always here. And Trisha's here. And Nettie's here. So that's the three we have. I know Nettie's watching. Uh-oh. Trisha, how are you going to use those craft supplies up if you're just watching? Come on, you got to use them up so you can buy more. <laughs> okay, let's ink around our little flowers here because ink makes everything better. Okay, do I want to put... Maybe put... Ooh, I ought to put that up there. Just put something on the back. And I think I'm just going to put this right here. And sort of keep the back so we have a journaling spot. What did you not read? What did you not read, Trisha? Okay, you can put that there. What did you not read? I want to know. See, when that glue gets on there, you just pull it and it all comes off, which makes it nice to clean. It's like super easy, but it works for pushing that down real good. Okay, so there's our front with our chickies. And there's our back and you got the journaling area up here. You could write a recipe up here or just, you know, cooking notes. And then we got our little flowers down here. So I like that. I still love this little chickies. Okay. Put that over there. Okay, which one do you guys want to do next? There's the one with the plates. 
the little Stumix, the picnic one, the milk calf one, this one, the little preserve and pickle one, the chicken one, or the blue one. That's okay. Which one do you like the best? Which one do you want to do? Does anybody have a preference? I'll give you guys a minute or so to respond. I got more ink today in the mail too, Nettie. Oh no, honey, you do not want to talk about mess. I am in the middle of my room as a catastrophe. Okay, does nobody have a reason? Let's do the milk cap one. This one? This one? The milk cap or the check? Which one? Oh, yeah. oh, you didn't read the Sunday. Uh-oh. Yep, every Sunday. Oh, because I did. Yes, you did, Trisha, because I seen you and Catherine both put something up there, but you just wrote a word up there and, like, what the word meant to you. You actually have to do a project. You put that word on the project, and then everybody who submits one will go on the can, and on what I'm going to do is on Mondays, um, when I do my live, then I will draw, and whoever gets drawn will get to pick a free digital kit from my shop. And I'm gonna do that every week for you guys. Okay, let's see, I need to cut this down a little bit more. I wanna create a pocket on this one, so we have a pocket. Um, so I'm going to glue it and then cut it down. Whoop, whoop. So make sure I put a nice sort of thick coat of glue around the edge so it holds. See, that's when that, because it keeps me my hands from getting too gross. I got this one from Hobby Lobby, but you can buy them just about anywhere. I bought this from Hobby Lobby and I think it was like $3.99 and it was one of those days where I went and believe it or not, I just really couldn't find anything that I wanted and I ended up using it my 40% off for and I got it for like a dollar and something. Um, but I think you can find them at Walmart. Um, this is Artist Touch. So yeah, this was from Hobby Lobby. This is a one inch one and it's just a silicone brush. But I mean, I still get my hands covered in glue because you know that's what I do. But it does help. It's not so much about keeping my hands clean is when my hands get sticky and you touch it and you try to lift your hands, it pulls up with you and all that with using this because it doesn't stick. I mean, the glue may string, but I can go on, you know, Go in and scoot that out of there or move it around with my hand. But it lets me, you know, put some pressure on it. And when I go to lift my hand up, it doesn't pull the lace with me. So let me, oh, let me glue this right up. And we'll go right up around this edge of this tab. And this wouldn't be near as bad. But I'm sort of having to pull some off because... My hole in my glue bottle is way too big and it's driving me crazy. I don't like how they did the new bottles. It's like my number one pet peeve right now. Okay, so I've adhered this. So I'm going to go ahead and trim around.
So, you know, I did decide um, one thing because I was trying to do a journal every single month and I did have, um, you know, several people get a hold of me and they're like, you know, I just can't keep up with you. You're doing too much and I work a job or, you know, I've got this or whatever. Oh, Trisha, it might be lagging. It's just that time of night. It may be. Okay, so that creates a little pocket. Oh, yeah, you just, the word of the day part and thought you were supposed to list a word. Yep, yep, yep. That's how we're going to do that from now on. So there you go. It's a chance to win a free kit. Um, you know, we were talking about earlier about, you know, cost options on getting kits because some kits are, you know, some of them out there are expensive. I looked at a kit that I really loved the other day um, that I wanted, but there was six different parts to, um, to the kit, you know, there were six different pieces off Etsy and they were like $6 and 80 cents a piece. And I'm like going, okay, I'm not paying $36 for a kit. Uh, it's just not going to do it. So I just couldn't see it. I've got, I'm working right now on some different things and I want to do a class that's pretty much like a start sort of like I do you know starting um, from the beginning you know but I want to uh, sort of do step by step I have been working and I've got a ton of things and it's not going to be just a how to build it. It's going to be, how do I decide a theme? You know, when I decide my theme, then wh what do I do after that? You know, it's easy to go, well, I want to do a sewing journal. Well, what do you do after that? You know, where do you come up from stuff? Where do you find supplies at? You know, different things like that um, is what it's going to be. And then give me a second. I'm looking for something to... Okay, this will work. Um, okay, so I'm lining this up just to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to line this up on my mat. Or if you have any, uh, I use a glass mat, so it works. But, and then I'm going to use just a tad bit of washi tape. Now remember, washi tape sticks, but when you pull it up, you can reuse it. So it doesn't bother me to use a little bit. I just throw it back on my roll and reuse it i'm just gonna washi tape it down and now if you don't have you know like a glass mat and you just have a silicone mat or whatever you work on or your table or whatever you can still take it washi tape it down and then take your ruler and set your ruler up next to it so you can see like where your lines are well it helps if you do it the right way so I would do mine on this side because my inches are over here and I do things in inches. So I put it like that. And then I would just take my washi, tear off a piece, you know, tape it down on that side, just enough to hold your ruler in, in place. If you don't have a glass mat and then grab whatever you want. I don't want to use this. I want to use something a little bit thicker. So, um, I'm going to grab an index card, just a little index card, and I'm going to go up. Like, I don't want to start at one inch because it's the very bottom. So I'm going to go up a half an inch, and I just sort of lay it straight, sort of, you know, make sure you're straight. And if you're not, it doesn't matter. Get some ink on your blender, just like on one half if you're using a rectangular. If you're using a circle, then, you know, just... So now, and then I'm just going to go and I'm just pretty much going to ink right along that edge, right like that. Okay. Then I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to move an inch up, which is going to be for me, my one and a half inch. Dab it again. 
And it doesn't matter. You're not wasting your ink on your index card because you can use that index card again. Do you see what I'm saying? Even though it's inked. Okay. Then I'm going to slide up to my two and a half. Again, you know, I, you know, add a little bit more. I like doing mine a little bit darker so it stands out. Okay. Then I'm going to slide up to my three and a half. I'm going to ink it across. I'm going to slide up to my four and a half. This is probably going to be my last one because I don't want to get up on the rim. I'm going to ink that across right like that. Okay. Then what I do, what I would do is slide all the way up to the base of your rim, like where, you know, the two sides are. Make sure it's for slate, straight. Grab it. Ink that line across there. And it doesn't have to, like I said, it does not have to be straight. So it's not one of those things you have to fret and worry about. And by doing that, okay, let me pull my washi off so I, you can see. Let me pull my other piece of washi off. I'm hiding it so you can't see it. Hopefully, and if you, hopefully you have washi that's not crazy. Some of the washi will stick, like mine stuck on a piece there and it did tear up a little piece. But it's not going to really bother me because I can use glue and glue it right back down because you just watch it so then when you pull it off you've added your journaling lines so you have your journal line up here to put your title on then you have your little lines that you can journal on so i mean if you wanted to come down here and do one more but what i would do is i will come down here Ink this up a little bit more down here at the bottom just to create like a deeper and up around the top. Okay, then let me see what do I do with it. That's purple. I don't want to use purple. Hold on. I use a black colored pencil. And I'm not going to do it exact. I'm just going to sort of, you know, like even on the mason jars, how the rings on the top are sort of scattered. And grab a little ink, just sort of blend it together. And that's going to sort of, sort of rub it. And that's going to create sort of like a metaled ring look to the top of it if you can see that and so see by adding this it makes it where it's not so straight now i did have a little boo-boo on the side where the washi stuck and that's just sometimes washi does that's just the name of the game but just a little bit of glue and a teeny tiny bit of ink and i mean you can if you want it to go darker you can you know darken up around your edges a little bit more you know, it just sort of depends on how dark you want it to be. Okay. And then. Like it, mine has the yellow top on top. So I'm going to use the little yellow. Um, do I want to use the yellow? Yeah, I think I will because it's got like the yellow bands and stuff. So let me. I'm actually going to. I just want to vintage this up a little bit um, because it's more of a mustard yellow. So I'm going to darken it up. Okay, guys, it's getting quiet again. Did everybody leave? Or are you just hanging out watching? So if you don't have a line stencil or a journaling stencil, you can do the same thing. You can use, lay your ruler straight and do it too. And you can do them as thin as you want to. Um, I've actually used my tear ruler that I made that has the jagged edge and did that to create jagged lines too. But I sort of like this and, you know, it just sort of gives me that, those lines to write on. Okay, so there's my little vintaged up ribbon after I inked it all up. So see that? Um, I mean, that's a big difference in color tone. If you can see it.
Well, that's fine. I know everybody's busy and doing stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. Let me put my lid back on my glue. Oops. And then I think I'm just going to, well, we'll see. Okay, which is what I thought. Okay, so if you, I found if you glue a little bit too far over, which mine did, even though it's dried now, I can take the edge of my palette knife and slide it under there just a little bit. You don't want to be forceful because you'll rip completely through the side and just really slowly move it a little bit to the left. And that'll set in there just like that. So I feel like we should have something down here. Maybe since the tomatoes are there, we put a little good top. No, let's find. Uh-oh, I think we found it. Oh, with the adding the lines on it. Hey, and it's a whole lot cheaper than trying to buy a journaling stamp or something like that because some of them are super expensive. And I'm going to go ahead and ink my back. Then I find sometimes if I just hold it and slide it, that does it really good too. And I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me... I have this little bitty, oh, that's not the same color. Here. Let me see what I've got. I've got some other colors here. Nope, too dark. Too dark. Oh, just perfect. I love this little polka dotted. And this is the perfect little color to go along with my tomatoes and my little ribbon. Well, dag nab it. Dag on it. And again, I'm going to push from the back. Make my little loop. And if you push from the back, just slide that in there. Pull it out. And you got to be really careful because this is paper. Oh, anyway, what I was going to say earlier, since I'm just prattling on while I'm doing this, I, uh, set together, I set today and put together some like physical kits that have, oh my gosh, dyed paper and vintage book papers and envelopes and uh, music paper and tissue paper and cheesecloth and just basically your bait, your, you know, beginner's um, junk journaling kit and so I think and see another good thing when you do this and you do that like if you make that half inch around see I should have used my thing for that but I used my finger um if you leave yourself that, you've got that half inch. You can still put another layer of glue in it if you want to put, you know, some kind of decoration on top and still leave your whole entire area open. And I'm going to pull this in just a tad bit. Not to bury, though. And I'm just going to glue that around this outside edge. Okay. And then 
I'm going to ink this up on the edge and on the back. And this is just a little label. And I could use the little label. You know, that's probably what I should do. Hold on. Whew, Fabri-Tac don't dry. I know, the little jar looks so cute. Okay, my Fabri-Tac is dry enough that I can grab it and roll it and it'll come right off, which is what I'm gonna do. Because, you know, sometimes you do things and then you have the afterthought. Thank God Fabri-Tac gives you some time. Art glitter glue does not. That's one thing that is nice about the. Okay. So I'm going to. So I don't need. Well, I'm going to. I don't like leaving anything uninked if, it, if I think you can see it. So I'm not sure how much of this top you'll be able to see if you happen to like pull it forward or something. Because people do that all the time. Let's see. Is this. Nope, I need to put some more there. So. Oopsie, oopsie. You win some, you lose some. I gotta take this farther down anyway. Okay, so I can put the little label here. And that'll hold in there. Right like that. So, I mean, this isn't glued in at all because we use that half inch around the edge. So that, you know, is in there. So we have that journaling card there. And then, because we glued this side and this side, do we want, yeah, I'm gonna glue, oh no, I don't wanna glue this other side because it'll go up in there. So I'm gonna leave this open too. And that little tag slides in there with its little ribbon. And then let's see what we have here. If I have any little labels I can put on there or little words that I can use, where is, Oops, pull out my little cookbook here because I'm sure there's a little word. And yes, I'm going to cut and use this two pieces just so you know. Let's see, that's pretty long, so I think I'm going to cut tradition out, especially since it has a little cannon jar, which is so cute. Because my grandmother, or my grandmother, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother, my grandmother, all of them, all canned. So the little bell jar, you know, as being a tradition, as a big tradition in my family. So it fits. And if you didn't want to use tradition, you could use taste. You could use just recipe. I mean, there's a ton of things you could use. You know, if you wanted to tuck maybe grandma's recipes down in there, you could put grandma's recipe cards in there and put, you know, grandma's recipes. You know, you literally you can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. Grab it and run with it while you got the chance. So... I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do it sort of diagonal. I don't want to, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to use a little cheesecloth. Just a little bit because that's a little bit more. Ouch, I bumped my knee on my desk. Am I driving you guys crazy yet? You're like, well, get off here, woman. I want to go to bed. Nettie, what time is it where you're at? I probably asked you this 900 times. And Trisha, what time is it where you're at? Trisha, are you on Eastern time? I want to think that you're close to that. But where I ink that up, that'll. So there we go. Isn't that cute? And then it's got a blank back too. So we'll have to figure out what to put on the back. And I think I'm going to ink it up and I just want to put good times on the back. Because of having the tradition, how heavy this is on the front, I think if we leave the black back blank, It'll just sort of add, you know, a little bit to it. And I do want to make sure that I keep 
lots of journaling room because it is a journal. I want to be able to have a place where I can, you know, oh, so it's, just, it's pretty early where you're at then compared to here because it's like 1030 here. So you're an hour behind us. I promise you one day I will know and remember all of these, but off the top of my head, I just don't. Okay, so I'm going to ink up the good times. <laughs> do you, Trisha? I do too. And again, I'm going to grab me some of my cheesecloth since we used it on the front. I think it looks real delicate. I This whole kit... I just sort of fell in love with because it sort of has that. Um, I think this will put at the top. Whoop. It's way too much glue. That card will stay down for a while. Oh, every time. Well, I am an hour ahead of you, Nettie. So if you think about. When, you know, if you're trying to think about me and you know that my show comes on at 9.30, it's automatically 8.30 for you. I try to remember, but thank God I don't sort of have to because I come on at my time, which makes it, I, you know, I need, what I need to do is put on there, well, it's this time, this time or whatever. And I think Trisha is Eastern. Is Mississippi Eastern? Yeah, because it's Mississippi, right? Yes, I think so. Um, do I want to tell? Nope, I want this straight on. I just feel like this is more like not so wibbly wobbly. It's sort of more put together. There we go. And see, I want to leave that side blank so you can put a recipe. Actually, this one right here would be really cute if you had like a family photo of like, you know, cooking. Um, you know, you were cooking dinner, you know, together or, a, you know, a family dinner, Easter dinner, Christmas dinner, whatever. And then you can just, you know, journal on the bottom what it is and, you know, have your picture on there. That would be perfect. And so that's the front. I love this. I think it came together so good. So we actually finished four of our dividers tonight, which isn't bad because we would have finished more, but we went through. I don't want to, like, not go through the kits because to me especially with the kids being free um, to order like that, that is just such a savings that, you know, it's crazy not to go over those so you guys can see them. You know, I try to bring, you know, as much, you know, low cost supplies to you guys as I can, which is why I do the DIYs and all of that. And that's why I do all the freebies in my group and all of that, you know, trying to help because I know what they do cost and, you know, okay, you're central. Okay. Yeah, because it's Mississippi, isn't it? I love this little tag right here. I think that's so cute. And then with the little tradition, the little tomatoes. I love these big tags like this. There's a couple of them. Um, there's a couple more big tags. There's a big carrot in a ball jar, which I think is cute. There's the best of times. One that is really cute. And see, some of these will be really good, like... Like, see, to me, this one would be perfect on there because it's bright enough that it sort of pulls away and it sort of takes away from that craziness. So, I mean, this may just get glued on here like this, a little cheesecloth behind it, you know, poke the hole, you know, run some ribbon out that'll stick out the top and then just adhere it to the front for that because that's sort of, you know, is a cover by itself. And then it's got the hints on the back. So we do have to do the tab on this one. So I'm going to use some cheesecloth because I already have it and it's here. Um, and I want to use some of this little red ribbon because it's a little polka dots. It's so cute. Um, and then a little piece of the doily. Let me grab that doily that I got. Um, and I'm actually going to just sort of curve this around the doily, sort of create like this faux little double doily circular tab sort of like a snowman I guess would be a two ball a two ball snowman 
like that. So I will put the cheesecloth down because I just like it to sort of stick out like that. And then my little doily because I think the little two ball thing will look really cute on there. Just so let it pop out a little bit because I like my tabs to stick out a little bit. And then let me make sure I cut these. So they're the same because I like my little things to have the little points on them. I don't care if they get ruffled and all that, but I don't like it when they're straight across for whatever reason. I don't have some kind of weird fascination with the way. Okay, so it's 9.30 your time too. Okay, so let me ask you this, guys, because I know you guys are two of them that are here. I mean, we have other people that come in all the time too. What time for like my lives during the night, like tonight or, you know, any other night, what time works best for you? I mean, because I know, you know, it's different times and I'm up till yeah, crazy hours these days with hot flashes and all that junk. So, so what time works best for you? I know there's not a lot of people on at night. Um, you know, there's a lot of people on during the day and they come on at like 7 30, 8 o'clock. And then there's nobody on in the evenings, which sort of me is unfair because there's a lot of people here like Australia, you know, that they just don't get to see lives because of the times that people do. See, I think that's so cute. What do you think? Like that one? I think the little tab is so cute and the little tag and the big tag. And see, that was just this plain old basic well i mean i like the blue but it's just blue gingham what do you do with blue gingham you know and you go well that's sort of plain what do you you know there's no designs on it or anything else i find which was one of the reasons why i created my new um oh uh, yeah watercolor wash uh kit that i put up today um is because I like those plain colors and then, you know, it's easy to add anything to it to change it. But I think that's really cute. And I love the little tradition. Of course, that's out of that recipe book. So, I mean, again, I'm just, you know, cutting and using the scraps because that's that front page. Um, that was the front page that had like the picture of the women's clubhouse and it had all about their club on it. So I didn't really lose anything. And then, well, that was the poem. And then the, the tradition came just out of the front page, which, you know, has their club history on it. So you're not going to use it. I mean, I could have cut, cut a taste of tradition out and put it on there, but I sort of wanted the taste as another word and a tradition. Thanks, mom. So we've got that one. I love this one too. This one turned out good too, I think. In the corn cob one. And of course the little chickies. I love the little chickies. It's probably my favorite. And then I try to balance my tears out. So like my, if my tab is here, then my next one will be my metal one. And then my next one would be this one. So what I you need to make sure you do I don't want yellow after yellow together. So I'll push this back here. So my yellows are separated and put this here. And I may actually, you know, put this back here. I won't use yellow for the next three, then start with my yellow again on the last one. So they're not, you know, my, I don't have my yellow against my yellow. I want those spaced out. So like this one is blue, yellow, red, so now what I'll probably do is, since this is red, then I'll go blue. Um, let's see how I do that. Yes, yeah, so I'll probably put my blue in the middle. And then I can put my yellow back at the bottom. And then I'll put my red. So it's tiered. Because I don't want them all together. But yeah, so like, just for instance... Let me pull down here just so you can get sort of a, a what is the word, a, a feel for it. If we're to use the ring, and this is how I sort of, okay, after 8 p.m., okay. 
and that's 8 p.m. Central Time. So like nine o'clock works good. Okay, so if we if we were using this, and we wanted to use the ring binder, let me get all these through here because I'm going in blind here. Okay, and you wanted to use a ring binder and redo your cover. This is what it would look like. Of course, you'd have your pages in between, and we're going to add those, but that's what your dividers look like. And I mean, I don't think that's bad. So, I mean, let's throw some pages in here and in between each one of them and see. So, we'll open that one up, and we'll just throw some pages in there so you can see. So, I mean, if technically, now this is, I know somebody said that they were, wanted to make recipe journals for Christmas gifts for like the women in their family and things like that. Okay. If in fact you wanted to use these for like Christmas gifts, my thought is you got what kit? The watercolor kit. I love that kit. It is like my favorite. I, I it's one of my favorite that I like. Because it's just so plain. That is actually part of, it is a section of my Lasting Legacy um, kits, which is like a family history genealogy type kit. Um, you don't have to do genealogy with it. You could use it for family photos, that type of thing. But it's actually part of like a family history kit. It's called Lasting Legacy um, that I'm going to be previewing. And there are those solid pages. There are collaged backgrounds that don't have any wording on them. Then there's like collage background pages that have like mother, father, son, daughter, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, you know, those type of things. Um, uh, you know, like the family home, recipes, uh, school, you know, all of that. There's different little sections for us. So, okay, say for instance you do and you get this kit, you want to do Christmas journals for family, recipe journals. Cover the front take out all of the front pages that have all the blah 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 about whatever it's about separate the actual recipes like into where they go so like you know your appetizers you know your veggies you know separate them to where they go and technically you do your covers do your signatures over to add that whole junk journal feel you have your recipe pages in here then what you can do is take your coffee dyed paper you know, cut them, your eight and a half and 11 and a half, you know, do your holes, you know, put your hole reinforcers around them if you want to, decorate up those pages, add some journaling things, some pockets, you know, all that kind of stuff out of what you have left of your kit or out of whatever, you know, you want to use that, you know, match these and you have your kit done. So you literally could, you know, put a double-sided page, which would be like four pages, split them up between your recipes, have four pages in each section, which would give you eight double-sided pages, you know, put a pocket on one side to hold your recipe cards decorated, flip it over and have your places to keep your journaling part. And, you know, do that for every, you know, four pages in each section and you're done. I mean, so you really could fly through here really fast. I may do one I may do this one like that because I mean I really do like this but I would have to cover this and the hard part about covering this is here so what I definitely would do is cover the kit and glue it like right to the edge of here and then glue washi or lace along the outside to cover up where that outside comes over so you don't have this like gap so I may do that with this. And I mean, other than this, the inside's fine because it sort of has that vibe. It's got, you know, the greens that match and sort of the, you know, the reds. You know, that all is sort of that vintage -y feel anyway. So that's the dividers. So, I mean, I do have the other sections to do. So, you know, this doesn't show all of it. Um, so I will be back in the next video. We will work on the rest of the dividers. We got four done today. We have, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dividers to go. So, you know, that won't be 
um, hard to do. We did four today. See, Tricia, that's where I keep thinking. Here's where I'm thinking the ring binder works for me because I do move stuff around and add stuff and take away stuff. And if I think if I use a regular journal, I could do it, but I'm pretty much, if I use a regular journal, I'm going to end up having to keep where every page has like, or not every page, but like every other page order has a pocket to put my recipe cards in. And I think that would be way too confusing, you know, to do. So I think by doing this, you know, I mean, I won't include these, but I can, well, I mean, I may, if I was doing it as a gift, I would include these and just not worry about, you know, just put in my journaling pages, you know, put recipes that are like family recipes I want to hand over or whatever. Um, for me, I think I will do the coffee dyed pages in here instead of like these. And then like each page I can have, you know, a recipe per page or, you know, have a pocket and, you know, have, you know, recipes in there if I want. Um, that's just what I th I, I'm i feeling for me uh, because I would be too likely to move things around and want to take it out. You know, when I'm going to cook, am I going to want to go lay all of this out on a counter in the kitchen? Because if you're like me, I have recipe cards and they've got oil stains on them and they've got, they're used and they're not just used. Like some of the ones I have, I um, have gotten, I've got like one from my aunt Mary, um, my dad's brother's wife. Oh, I've got several from her. I've got some from my aunt Shirley, my dad's brother's wife. I've got, you know, ones from, you know, that were my mom's grandmother that were out of the newspaper. I've got index card ones that were my husband's, third and fourth great grandmothers that have been passed down and before his mom passed away because it, his sister doesn't cook at all. Um, she makes hot dogs and macaroni and cheese, but um, so his mom gave them to me because she knew they would get used for like dinner, Christmas dinners and things like that. They're on the original index cards that are like, they're not really index cards. They were like cut out cards that they wrote their recipes on like four or five generations ago. And they're like stained up and they've got oil and, you know, all of that gorgeousness to them. Well, you know, that's what happens to mine when I use them because I use them. I'm not going to want to, you know, I want to carry this in there and set it down or whatever. But when I get ready to bake it, I'm not wanting to look like this and, you know, refer back to that and try to keep track of it. I'm one that would pull it out and use it. So I think having it like in a ring binder makes more sense to me. If that makes sense. Um, it just makes more sense to me. For me. Because the way I use them. That's why I think I keep leaning towards the ring binder. Uh, however, if you're going to make one for somebody. And you want it like as a gift. You know, you could put, you know. Pockets with empty recipe cards. Where they could add ones they want to. And then just put whatever you wanted to in there. So, I mean, there's just a hundred different ways you can go about this. And it's just... For me, it's finding, but I mean, like, okay, that's in there. Of course, I have to embellish all that and everything still, but it, it's still pretty closed, naturally. Well, yeah, if I was doing it like for Christmas, that's what I'm saying, then I would do lace all the way around. That's why I said, I think if I cover this, I'll pull it into the inside, like, you know, where it meets this orange line all the way around, you know, and then cut it exact there and maybe use lace. But I think I would use like hem lace, you know, like you put on the inside of a hem that's really thin just around the edge to cover where it meets. Whereas if I was making this as a gift to give somebody, you know, I think I would lace the whole entire inside. So, you know, this was like set in lace and then, you know, have lace leaning out the bottom and all these, you know, awesome tags over here and paper clips with lots of, you know, and all that kind of stuff where to me, it's not feasible. I cook all the time. This isn't going to sit on the shelf. If I put my recipes in, I'm going to use it. So I want something 
that's usable, but I want it pretty. So, you know, like this is pretty enough. It's got prettiness on it. You know, it's not too basic. But at the same time, it's not so overwhelming that I can't use it in a daily on a daily basis. I know these kits are just crazy. Uh, and you have, and I mean, every time I look at it, I come up with new ideas. Yeah, like these, you know, keep the ones you want. If you have a certain recipe you want, maybe glue, you know, your index card, your index card in. And, you know, if you want a green bean casserole, it's something you want, then you can leave, leave it there. So if you have a small index card, let me see. Do I have one? I usually, I usually have index cards sitting up here. That's my thing. Let's see if I have any small ones here. No, I have all large ones. Okay, well, let me just use. Okay, like these are the recipe cards that come with the kit. So, you know, if I have it inked up, you know, there's just a little bit of trimming, which I mean, I could just trim it off this side you know, slide it in. Well, let me just trim it off because I am not one that worries about that kind of stuff. So it doesn't, I'll just whack it off. Okay. So if I trim it down, you know, I could, you know, if I want to leave that recipe there, I don't even need that person's name. I don't care who put it in there. You know, that's just me. I could cover it up just like this, you know, with a recipe card, a recipe card up here because you know, this would stick out a little bit, but I would put my recipe card here. Then where this tab sticks out at the top, put a little bit of lace along there if you want to, you know, and you can still have, or, you know, put some whatever there, you know, some decorative paper, you know, put this on there and maybe have another one up here that's straight. And then this one lean in this way, or, you know, you could do a hundred million different things. And you can reuse these. Yeah, and they're already clipped. They're already there. So why not just reuse them if there's stuff you're not going to use anyway? If they're recipes you're not going to use, there's no reason to keep them. So that is, you know, my whole take on it. So I think these kits are really great. And even the ones that are comb, you know, have the comb binding, that comb binding comes out. So you can take those apart and use those pages you know, or keep it, you know, in that if you want to and make a really fat book. Some of those with the hard covers, I would just take off and you can actually on like the one that has the wire bound, you could cover up where all those holes are and The storyline in there since. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a ton of ideas and I could go on all night, you know, um, you know, doing a hundred million different things. I mean, you could, you know, put a piece of fabric there, put this across the middle, put a recipe card and a recipe card and call it good. I mean, seriously. And I mean, there's nothing to that. But, you know, it's just enough, you know, to cover it up. Put, you know, a piece of yellow like this across there, you know, the little home thing. And then maybe have, you know, whatever you want to put. I mean, there's just a million, million ideas of, you know, things that you can do. And, you know, there's tons of little, the ephemera in this kit. If you don't have this kit, like I said, you have those little, if you get the one kit, you have all those little pictures. Color them in with a colored pencil. You know, put you some lace across here, some fabric across here, put one of those little in there, like a little snippet cover, and you're good to go. So, I mean, yeah, there is unending ideas here. Uh, so, I'm excited about it. And, you know, if you get them and you want it and you actually use every single cookbook, and especially if, you know, you're going to do it for Christmas or, I mean, we all have to come up with Christmas gifts for people. Yes, Nettie. You just figure out what kit you want and let me know. But yeah, so we will keep working. I'm just going to leave mine in here because that means I don't have to keep track of them. They're all locked in there and together and I know where they're at. So 
Um, you guys have a great night. Again, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, I could go all night with different ideas on here. Um, and we'll just work through them as we go. We got a lot done tonight considering we went through the kits. But again, I thought that was extremely informative, especially if it can save you a lot of money. Um, so there you go. You guys have a great evening. Thanks for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I will, let's see, today is Monday, correct? Is today Monday? Yes. I will be back tomorrow uh, with another live working on the recipe cookbook. Then we'll have our Wednesday Wonderful Live, um, which is me and Miss Penny together. And then Thursday I will do the cookbook. We have Friday night PJ party. Saturday is just going to be uh, sort of random. And then Sunday will be our bless this mess again. So I'm going to try to do a live every night just to be there. I know a lot of you guys are out there with, you know, stuck at home or whatever. So you guys have a great evening and I will see you again. Thanks for staying with me so long and I love you guys. And some of you guys I've got to know so much already that, I mean, it's pretty crazy. And of course my mom's here, so I love her. Um, you guys have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.